Well, Josh, how do you think he did today? Oh, you know, I thought our guys around me gave me chances to make plays all game long. Like, we threw 60 bowls, and I had no pressure. <laughs> That's unheard of. So, our offensive line played their butt off, and I just can't express how thankful I am for those guys. And the receivers just played unbelievable. They made catches all day long. So, I'm um, really proud of those guys. And you know, I feel like we have an opportunity to go this week and fix some things we did wrong and go be even more explosive on offense. You know, I feel like we left some points out there, but um, it's great to be back in the win column. Could you have ever imagined you were going to throw the ball that many times? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I love throwing it. So, we, uh, whatever it takes to win, you know, that's just kind of how the flow of the game went. And that's just kind of how uh, we were calling it based off the flow of the game. And, um, you know, so just roll with it and execute the play. So. What's your reaction when you see the defense first possession of the game go get a pick six? It's huge. I mean, just the momentum swing. I mean, off the jump is huge. So um, that was really, really big for us and just kind of gave us that early momentum and allowed us to kind of um, just keep that snowball in effect the rest of the game. So. Josh, Coach and JP have both been here, both talked about they're not surprised at how you were ready. But just talk about being prepared for the moment, being prepared for this first start. Yeah, you know, I mean, I feel like I've worked my whole life for this opportunity. And so, uh, the good Lord's blessed me to be here, and, and honestly, I shouldn't be here. I mean, I was committed to Indiana and didn't have any offers like this, and so Coach Dykes took a chance on me, and I just can't express how grateful I am for that opportunity. And so to be here and to play with these guys and uh, on this stage is just it's unbelievable, and I'm just so thankful. How much, how much different was it this week? How much different was it this week, though? No, going in that you were going to be a starter, or was it much different? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. It it was. It wasn't a whole lot different, you know. I before I, I tried to prepare like I was going to play, and so uh, this week I did the same thing. And uh, I think I talked about it earlier in the week, but just I was more intentional this week with spending time with guys and getting other guys in the film room with me, so we can get on the same page. Can you walk us through your mindset as you stepped onto the field for the first time, that first offensive drive? How were you feeling throughout all of that? Yeah, I mean, that first drive was kind of a blur, to be honest, looking back at it. But um, you know, that that first drive was. You know, things are kind of moving fast, and thankfully, JP made a heck of a play, and so got us in the end zone, made a big play. But um, yeah, I was pumped and just excited, ready to go. And JP made a couple <laughs> big catches. Savion made a couple big catches as well. You threw a touchdown to four different guys today. What's your relationship like with those guys in the wide receiver room, and how did they step up for you today? Yeah, you know, I think I have a really good relationship with a lot of those guys, and uh, that's something we're going to continue to work on and continue spending time off the field. And, the big thing is like I, I want those guys to not care about them. You know, I want them to know that I want them to go be successful on Saturdays. I'm going to put the time in Monday through you know Friday to tell them, hey, I mean this is what you're going to do. This is what we're about, this is what we're about. You know, and so uh, I feel like that relationship is good and it's going to continue to grow and um, be really intentional about spending time with those guys and just letting them not care about you know how to play. The fact that the coach is trusting you to throw the ball almost 60 times, how much confidence does that give you? Yeah, it gives a lot of confidence. You know, some like a lot. There's always this like. Stigma, it's like first game, they're gonna try to ease you into it and all that. And shoot, I was ready to go, so I could care less though, more than that. We have to, so did you, get, did you get excited when you saw BYU loading the box like they were? Yeah, I mean, we knew all week kind of how they were. Um, you know, we were gonna have to spread it out, throw it. I, and I told Imani, um, in the fourth quarter after I was done, I said, I said, you're an unsel unselfish dude. I mean, there's gonna be games where you're gonna have to run it 25 times, and we're not gonna throw it 60 times, but today. You know, I don't know how many yards he had, but he did. He blocked his butt off in the pass protection, and he did what he could with the runs when he had chances. And so I just told him, and I'm proud of you for being unselfish and not coming over here and pouting and just being a great teammate. So um, he's just super proud of those guys. You talked about JP making a play. I mean, he bounces off that guy. I mean, I think Jared, the one right at the goal line, he had to bounce off two guys. You took a guy out on the end of a run. Just talk about the physical, how much you enjoy seeing it and doing it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, the play to Jared, Unbelievable. You know, it's fourth down, I think. Uh, yeah, it's fourth down, and it's like we had have to have a touchdown, you know, and he makes two guys miss, and uh, it just shows you how bad he wants to win, and it shows you what kind of guy he is. And same thing with JP, gritty players, man, that's what we're about. And, um, you know, I just want this team to know that, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win, and uh, whether I got to run and lower myself for a first down or do whatever I got to do, uh, that's what I'm about. I just want us to win. One of your biggest plays of the game wasn't even a throw, it was that 26 yard run. On third and ten, what did it feel like to, to get that big gain on that play? Uh, I was just running for my life. I didn't. <laughs> I was just trying to get the first down. I was like looking around, like oh, okay, but uh, felt great to extend that drive and do a third and ten. I felt like we were pretty good on third down today, and obviously we can be better. But 
uh, third and ten, like you gotta go get it. So I ended up having to step up, and then it opened up for me, and so I just took off. And uh, the guys did a great job blocking downfield, gave me a chance to get the first down. But you you put in a lot of work over spring and the summer to to lose all that weight and to get faster. I mean, it complements your game now that you're more of a guy that can run the ball. Yeah, too, yeah, right? I think it definitely helps with like scrambling and getting away from defensive linemen, and which we did today. Uh, well, we scrambled pretty well, um, so it definitely helps to you know drop some. <clears throat> Drop some pounds over the off season just to work on you know being quicker and faster and all that stuff. And I mean, always still working on that stuff. So you talked a little bit about some of the things you guys can improve on today. There were a couple picks there as well. What was Coach Bryles' message to you after those interceptions on the sideline? Yeah, you know the first one just didn't get the look we wanted, and uh, you know I just tried to force it, just tried to force the thing and to JV and. Um, you know, just that's one when it's first down, you probably just take it and seed it, you know, throw it out of the back of the end zone or just scramble, you know. So that one was just uh, that was my fault all the way. And then second one, you know, just got to uh, be major have to get on the same page, you know, probably give him a better ball so you can have an opportunity to catch it. And so, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, made some mistakes, you know, made some plays and uh, going to learn from it and move on and just continue to grow as an offense. So Coach Browse is, you know, he's really, really calm and cool and, I think, you know, that personality definitely fits, you know, the way I am on the off sideline. So, uh, you know, he didn't, like, come over and say, oh, I don't believe in you anymore. We're going to hand the ball off, you know. So just shows you, you know, his confidence in me and what we're doing. Anything else for Josh? 44 to 11, how do you keep that momentum from today's game as y'all head to Manhattan? Yeah, I think you go show up to Marvel facility hungry and ready to uh, fix the things you did wrong. And, um, you know, I had told – uh, some people were like, we left 20 points out there on the board, you know, on the field. So, um, you know, that's going to keep me up tonight about, you know, trying to find those 20 points and do what I can and make sure, you know, we don't have the penalties and the false starts and you know, the missed assignments and bad throws, you know. So um, going into next week, we're really focused on getting better and uh, we're going to have a great week of practice. And I believe in, I believe we are and I believe in the guys around me and we're going to go up there and we're going to play our butt off. So. Thanks, Josh.